Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our morning inspiration. Tuesday, March 5th, 2024. May the good Lord be with you today, and may His face continue to shine upon you, and may He give you peace. Our reading today comes to us from 1 Timothy 2, reading verses 1 to 6. It says, I exhort, therefore, that first of all supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet, peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. Six and last, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. Amen and Amen. We give God thanks again for his word, which is clear to us this morning that we must pray for all man, man, woman, boy, girl. We should pray for everybody. The Bible says that we must offer prayers. We must have intercessions on their behalf. We must pray for them because what? God made all of us and that he desires that all of us be saved. In fact, he went on to say that we need to pray for the leaders of the world. What did he say in verse 2? He says, pray for what? The kings. I know we don't have a lot of kings now in our time, but we have a lot of leaders in our time. So whoever is the leader of your country, you need to pray for them. And we need to pray for other leaders around the world too. That God will give them wisdom and that God will give them direction that they will lead people in the way that they are supposed to be led. And in doing so also, God can use them in a way to protect his people. Understand? So all men need Jesus. It's not just your friends. It's not just your family. It's not just those in your circle, from those in high power of authority. You know, the presidents, the governors, the prime minister, the king, the queen, whomever they are. These people need Jesus also and we need to pray for them that the Holy Spirit will speak to their hearts and draw them to him by whatever means. Whether he is going to use you or he's going to use someone, or whatever means that he choose, we need to pray for them. Amen? Because God died for them also, and he wants to save them. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, it is. When we do this, it pleases God. God is happy when we do this, and it proves that we are unselfish and that we care about the souls of others. So this is very pleasing to God. If we have not started, let us start doing so. And if we are doing so already, continue. Because it's a good thing that you are doing. Amen. Praise the Lord. And also, we must keep in mind that the fact that we are all sinners and we all fall short of the glory of God, we need the forgiveness of God. And so that is why we have the mediator, which is Christ Jesus, who died for our sins, who is able to forgive us of our sins. And for these men and women who sin and they do not ask for forgiveness, we can pray on their behalf that God will also forgive them. Because what? He says that is their mediating on all our behalf. But can God forgive something that you and I don't confess? Certainly not. And so we need to pray that these men including ourselves, you know, will be forgiven of our transgressions and our sin. And only God can forgive our sin. No man, nobody pretending to be God, nobody calling themselves God, only God alone 
can forgive sin. And so he is the only one we should go to and ask for forgiveness. He is the only one who died for my sin and your sin. And therefore, the only one who is qualified to forgive sin. And so let us not waste this opportunity. Confess our sin every opportunity you and I get. Because sometimes we sin without even knowing. Sometimes others sin without even knowing. And while we pray for ourselves, we need to pray for them too. Lift each other up before the throne of God so that God can work on us and God can purify us and make us ready to meet Him when He comes. So, I pray that you know we will continue to look to Him who is able to keep us and may we continue to walk in His righteousness as we continue to look for His soon return. God bless you and may God continue to watch over you. Amen.